I'm very open about emotions. I don't hide how I feel. I think it's so important to talk about your emotions and any any fear, really, whether it be happy, sad. But obviously in this instance, I did tell myself, I want to speak about how I feel. Ollie was honestly the biggest ray of sunshine, but the most backwards ray of sunshine. We bonded over the creative stuff, but his main love was rugby, and he was so talented at it. So I think that was his release. It gave him direction to where, if you can relate to him, he will get on with you, but the moment like he can't, he will just shut you off, because that's just in his nature. It was quite tricky. It was a bit like walking on eggshells when you spoke to him. I think he just felt comfortable with a very small circle. We, could, we didn't know the signs, it was so unexpected because he never, he never wanted help. Um, all he wanted to do was entertain other people and entertain himself. The way I found out was I went to my mate's house for the weekend and I was literally sat at his dining room table. We just had lunch, oh my God, I remember like it was yesterday. And I was going through Facebook and I saw a post from a friend of Ollie's and mine from prep school as well and it said, um, gonna miss you forever, I'll see you soon. And I thought, okay, this is either a joke or he's just being silly or it, it's like a different meaning. And then about five, 10 minutes later, I get a phone call from my friend Harriet's mum. She phoned me and said, I don't know how to explain this, but um, Ollie's passed away. <laughs> And it was literally in that moment, I, it's almost like everything just stopped and just went quiet. And I felt like I was in a little bubble and it didn't, I didn't, it's almost like I just wanted everything just to make sense, but I couldn't make sense of it because it was such a shock. And it was like his presence being lost was heart heartbreaking and it still is. And I think that if it, if it did happen at this age, you know, I'm nearly 22, if it did happen now, I think I would feel the exact same. It was hard to enjoy things. And everyone felt the loss. So it was everything that he enjoyed, everything about him. Immediately your mind would switch to him. So I lost interest in a few things like sport, I just didn't enjoy it anymore because I knew that he wasn't there. School as well. So it was everything that I connected with him on that I feel like I'd lost because I'd lost him. I felt guilty for enjoying things. I can't explain it. When I had my happy moments, I was like, I shouldn't be happy. I can't be happy because of what happened. But then I tell myself, he wouldn't want me to be sad. Slowly that happiness came back and that enjoyment for things like sport, and music and performing arts because I thought I need to think about me now. I've had that time to think about him but a sense of selfishness is good in grieving because you're looking after yourself now apart instead of the person that's passed. I think obviously I get emotional about it um, but I've accepted it. I don't think I'll ever move on entirely because he was like a little brother to me. So I think it will be with me for the rest of my life, but I've accepted that the action that he took is what made him happy. And I am at peace with that now. I understand why he did it now.